What is the meaning of Agent Any in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.3. You'll also notice that there are four different agents connected to this agent. Let's go ahead and select new item. We'll create a new job called Agent Any. We'll select pipeline and click OK. Let's go down to the pipeline definition. We'll select the Hello World sample pipeline. And let's take a look at this. Agent Any is already defined for us in the sample pipeline. That's at line two. But you'll also notice that the only step that we have is the echo hello world. Now, echo does not require us to be on an agent. Echo actually runs within the context of the controller. So it never even leaves the controller. It just echoes out right there. However, if we specify SH, BAT, or PowerShell, and that means that we need to have an agent that we can connect to. Now, when we specify agent any, that means just pick an agent for me. It doesn't really matter. So in this case, I'm going to select SH and I'm going to say echo hello world and click save. Now, remember that I have four agents. I have agents one, two, three, and four. Since I specified agent any, then it's not going to know which one it's going to run on until runtime. Let's go and click on Agent Any, and let's do a build now. We can see that it's queuing up to run, and then it finished. Well, where did it run? Let's go in and take a look at the job. We'll look at the output of number one, and we can see that the job picked Agent 4 to run on. And then we see our Echo Hello World. But we can see here from the log, we ran on Agent 4. Let's go over into our controller, and let's go ahead and take Agent 4 offline. So I'm going to do a disconnect and I'm going to mark it offline. So at this point, if we take a look at the overview, we only have agents one, two, and three available. Now remember our job is still defined as agent any. And in fact, I'm going to make one change to this job. I'm going to click on configure and let's go ahead and put in another sh step to where we sleep for five seconds to see what happens when the job runs. Let's go and go back up to our top level and let's run this job and watch in the left nav what happens. We can see that it queued up and we can see that the job was assigned to agent two. Now agent two was selected because agent four was offline. If we go ahead and run the job again, let's see what happens. We click on build now. What should happen is that job should be rescheduled back to agent two because it remembered that it ran on agent two before. So there's an affinity for the agents if it's seen online. However, like in our first case, when the agent went offline and we were specifying agent any, then it just picked another agent that was online. But let's go back into our job one last time and let's change the step. So instead of calling SH echo hello world, let's change this to bat for both of these. And let's see what happens. We'll click on save and click on build now. Our four agents are all Linux based agents in some way, shape or form. Therefore, it's not going to know what to do with bat. We can see that we had a failure on number four. If we take a look at the output of the failure, we can see it was scheduled to run on agent two, which is what we expected because the previous two runs had run on agent two. Agent two is still up. But we can also see here that there is an exception that says batch scripts can only be run on Windows nodes. So when it made the connection to agent two, it realized that that was not a Windows node. Therefore, it threw an exception saying, hey, you wanna do this? you need a Windows agent. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.